I'm Felix. I'm 15 years old, and I live in Allentown. Hi, I'm Matt King, and I'm 15. I live in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm 14, I live in Allentown. My name is Garrett, I'm 17 years old. I live in Allentown, Pennsylvania. After forming a team, we first discuss and how the thought teams may help illness be treated. The first thing we notice is that there are many different ideas about what mental health illness is. For the sake of this documentary, mental health illness is defined as mental ailments people live with every day. Our definition does not include learning disabilities. It does include everything from depression and anxiety disorders to anger management, bipolar, and schizophrenia disorders. We then hit the streets of Allentown to see how the members of the community perceive mental health illness. So what do you think of people with men mental health patients, like mental health disabilities? Um, I think they're normal. They just born with a disability and I think that people can help them out more. I feel bad. I feel bad. Well, people that's in mental health patients uh, do deserve a break and all that with all the necessities that life could provide them, that's for sure. I, for one, uh, apply to see a psychiatrist, you yeah. know. That doesn't mean that you have to be, you know, out of your mind. Yeah. Do people too? Uh, um, uh, I got them, so I understand. You got one? Oh, I got a health problem, I know that. Oh, what is it? Bipolar, schizophrenia, no, no. anxieties, yeah, no people. Uh, how many, how many people do you think have mental health disability in Allentown? What do you say, 5%? I think half of Allentown has mental disabilities. Right. I'm pretty sure there are people behind closed doors that has a lot of issues, right. you know? How, how do you think the Lehigh Valley community treats mental health patients? I say good. Pretty good? Yeah. I think they just put them in a category and push them to the side. They don't really, you know, try to dig in deep and see what's the problem. Not very good. Not very good. How have you been treated? By an outcast? When I was four, my father died. He was an alcoholic. That was the source of a lot of my problems. But instead of sharing my feelings, I hid them mainly because of the stigma surrounding teens with mental health issues. When I was 13, my emotions finally caught up with me. I was told many times by therapists that my depression was the worst they'd ever seen. In that, I saw a challenge, to come back from the brink. Sometimes it is easier not to talk about your emotions, but that led me to su multiple suicide attempts and years of cutting. I share this information not to scare you, but more to inform you that if I would have shared my emotions and had a listening audience, my scars would not be on my wrist right now. Thanks to persistent parents, a great team of therapists, and the will to make it back, I now look back and see that if I could, would have had the chance to change something, I wouldn't have changed a thing because it wouldn't have made me the person that I am today. Thank you. I'm Joe Gallo. I'm the therapist at Lehigh Valley Hospital, the Adolescent Transitions Program. I've been in transitions, Garrett's been in transitions, but um, I'm wondering, in your mind, what does transitions do for people? Well, I think it, I think it does a number of things. Uh, we're, we're called a partial hospital program, and that what we do is sometimes a person may need therapy, if you will, but they may not need to be in the hospital 24-7, but they might need a little bit more than just seeing a counselor once a week. 
When we were talking about the perception of mental illness, mental health patients, um, you said stigma. What what do you think is included in that stigma? Well, I think what it is is people don't know exactly what mental illness is. I think that's a big problem. You know, in the media over the years, it's been portrayed like craziness and all that stuff. Depression is is, is an illness. It's it's not craziness or anything like that. So I think there's been a a misconception going back generations as to what mental illness really is. The media needs to portray mental illness more accurately. Wait, you mean the media sometimes misrepresents reality? Movies, I think, sometimes portray it totally different than what it actually is. I think it goes back, like I mentioned before, the education component. I, I just think, you know, fear grows out of not knowing something. I mean, it, uh, we're, we're afraid of the unknown, so the more that we can educate people about mental illness, all of a sudden it becomes a lot less frightening. And uh, I don't think that's only Boya Valley, I think it's, it's everywhere.